I hate being called a liar. Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. I do appreciate it a lot. You could have gone anywhere, but you stopped by here, so thank you. Thank you very much. If you're a subscriber, thumbs up to you. If you're a Patreon patron, double thumbs up to you. And if you're not uh, connected with us, uh, either by subscription or Patreon, uh, consider doing that, please. I'll have links below. You can just as easily do that. We have a lot of fun around here, and we'd love to have you join us. So um, a few years ago, I did a, a, a tabletop review and a field review of this monocular from uh, HDE was the name of the company, is the name of the company. And uh, it was pretty awesome little thing. I still have it. It was about mm, probably four and a half, five years ago. Well, um, a lot of people have watched it because they uh, kind of like the monocular thing. I'm going to put a link below so you can see the full review of this. Um, as a matter of fact, let me show you the abbreviated version right now. Wasn't that fun? So you're going to want to go watch the video and get all the specs that way. But uh, recently, I, I had a comment on the review of this. Now, I get comments all the time. I mean, I, I've got pretty thick skin. I've been called everything uh, from, a, from a Pinocchio who worships the space wizard, because many of you know that I'm a Christian. And, uh, you know, that can be offensive to some, but, you know, I just let that kind of stuff kind of roll off. And, you know, people have called me out on other things, and when they're right, I, I let them know. You know, I tell them, thank you for making that correction. If I say something incorrect, I don't mind being corrected and, and set straight. That's, a, that's always a good thing. Um, but the, there's one guy who uh, watched this video just recently, and this is what he, what he said. Basically, uh, I'm a liar. You know, there's no way this thing could look as good as it did in the video. And so I don't know if it was a bad day for the guy or um, he thinks I conjured it up and made up some things because, quite frankly, the image from this thing isn't really all that good. But because the price point on this, I think at the time, um, and I'll put a link so you can take a look and see what the price is now, but I, you know, I think it was like $14, $12 or $14 or something for a monocular that does uh, 15 power to 55 power zoom and does focusing down to about 25 feet, which is pretty darn good, and the image is not bad at all. So I took that as a challenge, and what I'm gonna to do today on this video is show all of you that I just don't make this stuff up and I don't uh, do things so that uh, it makes it look good. Uh, I show you exactly what the thing is doing. So I, I've got a little setup over here. Let me show you what I got set up. So I just recently picked up this little device. It's from a company called VanKey. Uh, no, this isn't the thing that you stick in the ignition to start your van. It's actually a little device where you could, um, it's fully adjustable, where you can take your, uh, your cell phone. In this case, I've got an iPhone or it, it'll probably take an Android and all that stuff. Um, you, you mount this thing in here and then you take your, uh, we'll take the monocular and uh, then mount it in here so that it's firmly up, fixed up against the camera lens and so we could actually shoot video through this from the uh, iPhone through this lens and get some pretty nice uh, imagery. So I'm going to get that set up. It takes a few moments. I don't want to bore you with it, but it does take a few minutes to get things kind of lined up and, and looking good. But uh, that's what we're going to do. I'll put it on a little tripod, and then we'll uh, look at the images real time as I'm as I'm shooting them. Ooh, a lens hood! I've been waiting for this. Ah, uh, my camera thanks you. And I was able to get it from Amazon. You can get your stuff from Amazon too. Just use our link below. It doesn't cost you a penny more and it helps us out. Much appreciated. I've got it all mounted on. Like I said, it did take a little bit of time, uh, just a few moments. And uh, if you can see, let's see if we can get a little bit of a close up there. You can uh, see the image that's coming through the lens. Now way off in the distance, way up in this region right over here, there's a, a bird house and it's for uh, purple marlins and uh, there that's probably hmm, 150 yards away and uh, probably be a good representation of what we can find with with this thing here and shooting kids got one of our birds why don't you show off the bird here 
because uh, we got one of our uh, barred rocks here. So there you go. That's uh, he's very skittish right now. I guess this one is uh, it's either eeny, meeny, or miny. <laughs> Those are the bards. All righty, can you guys see that there? There's the uh, oh, it's kind of wiggly, but there's the image. I'm going to start recording and now right here. And I'll throw in on an inset someplace the, uh, the birdhouse, which is way the heck out there. Maybe I'll do an A-B comparison and, and you can see. There, it's somewhere off over there, <laughs> about 150 yards or so away. And there it is. That's at 55 power uh, with this uh, monocular attached to my iPhone. There you go. Let's see if we can find something else. Okay, now we have the uh, shooting kid. Hey. Uh, we're looking at, why don't you hit hey, the cord uh, on there there. Yeah, so now we're looking at a, uh, a dish, um, yep. you know, this, satellite uh, dish thing. TV dish. And uh, just so that we have an extra camera going, I'm gonna set this on video so we can, you guys can all catch us doing this. Okay, there's that. There's us, <laughs> there's the camera. They're way out there, is there. That's probably another 150 yards or so out there. And at 55 power, that's what we're able to bring in. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna look at a bird's nest on the other side of the yard. And uh, actually, um, go ahead and hit record. There we are. So there's a bird's nest. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this camera going through this iPhone, just standard video see how far away that is and then now I'm going to cut to the other one you can see the, the, uh, the bird's nest I'll zoom in and there you go that's like I don't know 200 yeah something like that there's the bird's nest up there that's kind of like where we are right now 55 power monocular that is how clear this image can be and it's just a what a 12 15 dollar thing i'm going to put a link down below where you can pick yourself up one okay here comes a plane i'm going to try to do this oh here we go right here oh here comes another one you hear it where is he there's a purple marlin up there on the uh bird's house and that's what it looks like through that monocular. Well, there you go. Put the uh, HDE monocular onto your cell phone uh, with this little attachment. I'll have all those links down below that you can go get yourself one. Um, one of these, one of these, maybe two, because they're so inexpensive. And uh, stick it on your, uh, your iPhone and uh, go for it. Just imagine if we were at the range, we could uh, use this to look downrange and see how we shot our target. If you're out hunting in the daytime, this won't work so well at nighttime, to be honest with you. Well, we have some nighttime uh, uh, well, solutions for you, and I'll put a yeah. link down below so you can see those videos about nighttime solutions. But daytime solution, very inexpensive, uh, would work really well. Just sticking this up to your eye and spotting things from uh, a distance off, you can see how it could work um, and how it works with a cell phone. But it's a very valuable tool. I've used it a lot and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot more, especially now that I got this mount. I, can, I, I use that mount a lot, just like this. Pictures of the moon, all that kind of stuff. Just recreational use, uh, hunting use, yeah, you'll enjoy it. All right, thank you for joining me today. And uh, sorry I started off with uh, kind of a negative thing, but uh, I don't like being called a liar. People just doubting the fact that I made this all up just for video, I don't do that. If, uh, if I bring to you something, it's because I've tested it or I've done enough research that I think I might like it. And if I get it in and I like it, I let you know about it. Now, your experience may vary. You may get this and think, boy, man, I didn't really like it at all. Well, I can only tell you what we find when we put it through its test. Don't forget to join us on all of our social media outlets. We love to have you there. Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. We're on Tumblr. We do Reddit. Uh, catch our videos and links to our videos on all those places. BitChute is an alternative for us. And MySpace. Who'd have thunk that MySpace could come back again? Well, it has for us. Check us out on MySpace. I'll put a link to that below. You'll see a few of our videos. We're starting to upload there as well. 
so that there are more opportunities wherever you may be to catch our videos. Browse around our channel, you'll see a whole bunch of different videos, and if there's something there you like, give us a thumbs up. Like this video, give us a thumbs up here as well, okay? Would you do that? Share this video with others, uh, and uh, I'm rolling in some stuff right now to show you how to do that share. And uh, just click on all your social media things, share it with your friends, let folks know that we exist. I greatly appreciate it. All right, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Okay, I'm gonna go take a look some more.